Paul Cantabene joins us now here on the All Access Post Game Show. Coach, obviously a heartbreaker tonight. You had the lead in the second half. Can you dissect everything that went wrong there in the fourth quarter? Well, we just could do a really good job of finding ways to lose games. Eight turnovers in the fourth quarter, and uh, you know we just didn't make the plays. And every time we had, you had a chance to go up by two, we get a good play and we get a good shot, and we just miss the net. And then you know they get the ball back, and uh, the guy runs right by Gray. Gray didn't know he said he didn't know he had the ball and got in the hole, and that's kind of how it went, unfortunately. But uh, you know we're really good for three quarters. We got to figure out a way to do the fourth quarter. We played a lot of great teams, and you know we've had three really bad quarters. We've been giving up six goals in the fourth quarter, so we got to kind of figure that out. And but I think we lost this game more on the offensive end, to be honest. I think our defense gave us a chance. Cecil was great, and Sam made a lot of great saves. And I think our defense did a gr enough to give us the win. Our offensive guys, we got to make plays, really tough plays when it matters. And I didn't think we made any of the tough plays when it mattered. In fact, we, we kind of thought we gave Lynchburg some things to get back in it. And uh, unfortunately, um, that's the way it went. But a uh, good part about this tournament is you get another chance to play a great team tomorrow, and it'll be ready to go. So I, I think we're a little bit better than our record indicates. But you know what life says, you are what your record is. So we got to deal with that. Well, Coach, you always front load your schedule. You purposely want a tough schedule to begin with, get your guys tougher, get them mentally strong. So this is not different from any other year that you, that you play. Yeah, but, you know, we got to start winning these games. I mean, you play this schedule, we got to win the games you play. And so um, I think we're good enough to do that, but we, we tend to – give teams some easy goals and we, we didn't take advantage of any of Lynchburg's mistakes in the second half and they took advantage of all of ours. Coach, you referenced on the positive side the play of your defense and the biggest thing I think that jumped out to MC and I were they're selling out to get in front of the ball tonight yeah. and the block shots and we don't keep stats of those things unfortunately in lacrosse but we should because there are an awful lot of them tonight. Was that a, a strategy decision or just sort of the no, weird way? That's how you play. It happens. They block some shots too. They had a couple of kids get hit pretty hard with some shots and deflect some. It's just the way it is and, uh, but uh, I think the guys do a good job. Our defense played well enough to do that given us an opportunity. Uh, we got to play better offensively. It's the bottom line. I think that's really costing us. And, and that, you know, I coach the offense. We got to get some guys. We might put some new guys in there tomorrow uh, who deserve that. You know, we can't have, and especially our seniors, we, you know, we can't have a senior attack with four or five turnovers in the game. I think that really kills us. And, uh, you know, Middy's is shooting one for 10 and stuff. So we got to get better. You know, we got to do that. You, get, you shoot 10 shots as a mid, you better have four goals. So a question for you to educate us. Uh, we noticed that your EML numbers are down. Does the shot clock affect you in any way? No, we just got to hit our shots. You know, I think we had some good shots in the extra man, and we just didn't hit them. You know, see, I think of that. I think our, our EMO was pretty good up and coming into this game, and you know, 0 for 4. That's a big difference. You know, so we had that opportunity, but you know, also we thought we got a couple marginal calls that kind of hurt us a little bit. But it is what it is. You got to play the game. Uh, let me get one more on the positive side. Cam Ladig, a uh, guy who his three goals were all on the run and really kind of seemed like individual effort types of things. Is he one of those guys that maybe is earning more opportunity. No, he is. You know, Cam's doing a good job. He's tough. He goes to the goal. He can score. He can score some some tough angles and do some things. So he's playing really well. So then the positive, Cam's doing a great job for us. Some of our freshmen were the best. You know, Cam and and Seth were you know two freshmen. They're probably two of our best kids today, and they played and they did a good job. Coach, I know it's a tough one, but as you said, back out there tomorrow night. Uh, obviously, gets no easier. A top five opponent, and yeah. just got to go get them, right? Exactly. So we'll do, we'll we'll give it our best. Coach, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Good luck.